From small daily expenses to larger indulgences, these are some of the pitfalls that hinder so many people from having the finances of their dreams. Most people complain about how little their income is for them to survive, but the real problem lies in the little frivolities they spend their money on, which I consider a waste without them even knowing it. The truth is, some of them are aware of these spending habits, but choose to live in denial about their reality. Welcome back to the Billion Man channel. In today's video, we will explore together 21 unnecessary things that broke people waste their money on. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe and turn your notifications on. Whether you're looking to tighten your budget or seeking to build a stronger financial foundation, this guide will empower you to make informed decisions and take control of your finances. What are these 21 habits? Let's unmask them. 1. Frequently eating out and ordering takeout. I'm not good at cooking, so I'd order takeouts every evening. It didn't look like I was spending so much with $50 every night, but one day I took a look at my account statements and saw that I spent more than $1,000 for takeouts every month. I always had food in the house, but they got expired in the refrigerator, and that opened my eyes to the double loss situation I put myself in. Poor people think they're saving up money on buying groceries when they order takeouts or go to eat out, but they have it all wrong. Cooking at home can be more cost-effective. 2. Impulse purchases and unnecessary shopping sprees. It's only the poor that constantly feel like they need to impress by buying what they do not need with the money they do not have. The rich do not care about what anyone thinks. Instead, they can make a shopping list and stick to it to avoid overspending. 3. Unused gym memberships or fitness classes are wasted money. Exercises are not confined to the gym alone. Instead of paying for a gym membership, consider cheaper alternatives like using exercise videos at home or running long distances. This is a sure bet against being broke, and it's fun too. 4. Unplanned and excessive entertainment expenses. Most broke people also want to spend their recreational time effectively, but do so in an expensive way. A broke person shouldn't be considering going to a cinema or buying a ticket to a concert, especially when it isn't planned. There are alternatives like free streaming platforms for personalized entertainment. 5. High Interest Credit Card Debt Paying off credit card balances in full can save money on interest rather than piling up debts as most broke people do with their expensive and ingenuine lifestyles. A better way to approach this is by cutting all expenses to your credit card, till all debts have been cleared on it. 6. Buying new technological gadgets With the steadfast update on technological gadgets like phones, personal computers, and household equipment, it may feel necessary to desire an upgrade just to feel current. The lie that most broke people tell themselves is that they need to stay updated with the trend and that they can easily upgrade by trading in the old for the new but the truth is that they don't really need it, and that they just need to impress themselves and the people around them even though they may be in debt. 7. Expensive subscription services that they don't fully utilize. I know some broke people who are on premium Netflix. It's not a bad idea, and they deserve the good things of life, but it's wrong timing to do that when the finances are on a thin thread. 8. Lavish nights out at bars and clubs. Every outing comes with a price tag. If a broke person is constantly at bars and clubs, and they like to announce their presence by spending more than they can afford, this can make them bankrupt the very next day. Every broke person should limit nights out because they are expensive unless they're not paying. 9. Gambling or buying lottery tickets There are stories of people who won the lottery even when they least expected it. Now, everybody wants to win the lottery, and the sad thing is, more of those putting in their money are broke people who just want to try their luck. Winning the lottery is a game of uncertainty. It could happen to anyone at any time, but banking on it shouldn't be the sole aim. It's even worse when it becomes an addiction because the chances of winning are very slim. 10. Overpriced Skincare Products Whoever thought we'd go from paying a couple of dollars for basic skincare products like a good deodorant, an affordable body lotion, and sunscreen to thousands of dollars for overpriced and unending skincare brands?
Some of these products could be gotten for a much cheaper price at the supermarket, but most broke people would prefer to buy the most costly brands to satisfy their ego and in the process to satisfy their finances. 11. Shopping for expensive clothing and accessories. Becca's boyfriend just broke up with her and he was nagging about it at the bar. He told everyone who cared to listen that his girlfriend was very irresponsible. When I listened to the story, I could understand his frustration. She loved to shop for items she knew were too expensive for her income and his too. At one time, he said that she used up her weekly wage of $200 working part-time at a supermarket to buy a wig for her friend's birthday party. Most broke people are keen on having the latest fashion pieces from the most renowned designers, even if it deepens their pockets further. A label isn't the first thing people see when they look at you so splurge on the expensive extravaganza. 12. Luxury Apartments Gone are the days when everything was kept simple and the fanciest homes were left to the kings and other royalties. Most families just wanted a bigger and more comfortable space, but today, you'd find that there's a rush to own and occupy the most fancy homes in the most exquisite locations, and surprisingly, you'll find more broke people in this rat race. The goal is to have a roof over our heads and be comfortable, not lavish in luxury and debt. 13. Unnecessary Home Decor and Furniture Upgrades Being a minimalist is essential for everything we do. It means that we don't have to go the extra mile if what is needed for survival isn't along that path. Having new home decor doesn't speak of a high taste if people can tell you're broke. 14. Not comparing prices and shopping around for better deals. If there's one attitude that changes when someone makes more money than they currently do, it's the bargaining attitude. While most people I know still look around for a fair offer before purchasing any item, others may consider it an act of a miser. Does a broke person have a choice? It's just common wisdom to save extra cash for something else. 15. Visiting luxury spas and salons for beauty treatments. There's no need to visit a spa when your account is in jeopardy. I will never understand why and how people do it. The only treatment a broke person needs is financial treatment and not more injuries to their already struggling finances by having some beauty treatments. A nice long bath can suffice. 16. Trying to impress your friends by taking up the bill. I'll first of all say this, if you have to impress your friends by trying to show off all the time, you'll be on the losing side and you may eventually lose them. Friends can tell when you're struggling and when you're not, but if you have to pretend then, that friendship isn't made for you. 17. Not being mindful of home utility usage to reduce costs. For those in the United States, you know that the utility bill goes up with an increase in usage, and what should a broke person do? It's not the time to leave all the lights on and every appliance not in use plugged in. Limit extravagant use especially when it's not necessary to save cost. It's all about not making the tough situation tougher. 18. Opting for high-priced trendy workout equipment instead of affordable ones. This wouldn't even be an option for me if I was broke, but because I've seen people who complain of having little cash purchasing high-priced workout equipment, I'm including it to this list. What happened to running around the block five times and doing some sit-ups? That's also exercise. 19. Lavish Weddings Weddings are memorable for everyone. It's meant to be an intimate event to celebrate love with the closest people in our lives, but it's also meant to be tailored according to your financial status. If you ever feel pressured to have a big wedding, remember that you didn't even know when some of your favorite celebrities got wedded, and that's because it's a ceremony to celebrate and not show off. Only broke people want to have a lavish wedding to impress friends and other guests while bearing the burden of debts later on. 20. New Cars You don't need to upgrade your car to a new one or get an additional one if your current one can take you around town and back home. If you decide to keep up with the trend of upgrading your car whenever a new edition debuts, you may soon be straddled in debt, and a lot of broke people are in debt for this same reason. 21. Addictions Sadly, addicts are always broke because they're too invested in their addictions. Daryl, a young boy of 18 who was out of school and always sat at the intersection of the next street to mind begging. Most people took pity on him and gave him money with the belief that he was homeless, 
but I discovered he was a heroin addict who always needed money to take some more stuff to keep him high. Most broke people may not have a drug addiction, it could be alcohol, sex, or other forms, and the fact about addiction is that it comes with a price, a price that leads to debt. At any time you find that you are on a stringent budget but feel an impulse to embark on any of these 21 habits, remind yourself that delayed gratifications are going to come back to you as a reward for staying true to your reality. You may even find life simpler and stress-free than you imagined by abstaining from these finance eating habits. Did you find this video helpful? Let me know in the comments. You can keep me excited to post more videos like this by subscribing to this channel if you haven't and don't forget to turn on your post notifications for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.